Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe out there. Now, today's video would normally be a Falls of Thun guide. Specifically, it would be the first one of season 23. But as you may well know, uh, the guys over at Turn 10 and Playground Games didn't actually do a season 23 live stream on Monday that had been postponed and now on top of that the guys over at Forza have also said they're experiencing some issues with season 23 which means that technically this season 23's playlist is just a mishmash of old bits and bobs that they've put together so throughout this festival playlist for the whole month whether they keep it or they change it next week I don't know yet is basically their there is no car rewards so throughout the festival playlist you won't be able to win any cars instead it's just credits for rewards so normally like as it says here 90,000 credits for a lot of the events and of course the Forza Thons are repeats of previous ones and the overall prizes for the festival playlist and for each week are just wheel spins or at the end of the festival playlist there's 250,000 credits so Whatever this issue is, I'm not quite sure, but hopefully they sort it out and change everything next week, or they may keep this for the whole month uh, of June and change it and put season 23's rewards and whatever in the month of July. But whatever the case is, I'll keep you up to date. So without further ado, let's go and get stuck into this week's Forzathon event called Engineering Masterpiece, which as I said before, we've had to do previously. Now this one wants you to use the 2011 Bugatti Veyron Super Sport. So this can be picked up in the uh, auto show, but it's quite expensive. It is 2.2 million credits. I'm sure some of you have it already. If you don't, you can also check out the auction house where you may be lucky enough to pick one up cheaper than that. Now I have created a tune for this car, you may not need it as it's actually a very quick car but if you do it's there for you so the tune name is Forzathon EVG. Now the first challenge here wants you to earn 30 ultimate speed skills. So an ultimate speed skill is a speed skill that's over 200 mile an hour and then you'll get ultimate speed skills. They're very easy to rack up and to do this obviously the easiest method is to hit the highway. Now. It's basically about two lengths of the highway. So after my first length, I got 15 ultimate uh, speed skills. And then on the way back, I finally got 30. So it's actually really easy. It'll take about five minutes, if that. Now, like I said, you don't need to tune the Super Sport because it is already a very, very quick car and it will happily set over 200 mile an hour with no issue. But if you do want something to make it quicker, I definitely recommend tuning it or you can use the one that I showed earlier. But like I said, this is a really, really easy challenge here. Not too difficult to get 30 ultimate speed skills as you can see there. Now the next challenge just wants you to get a total of 12 stars from speed traps in your Bugatti Veyron. So this is again a really really easy challenge. So if you go over to the Asmore speed trap just by Mud Kickers Adventure Park you can see that 3 stars there is only 140 mile an hour which is absolutely nothing for this car. So you don't need a massive run up all you have to do is go through it one way turn around and come back so i'm just going to speed up the footage here so you can see it so three stars obviously means you only need four runs to get the overall 12 stars it doesn't matter if you don't get three stars on each run it's as many stars as you get and then you just keep racking them up until you hit 12 but getting three stars on each run in this car is very very easy and it won't take that long at all so not a bad second challenge there again will take you way less than five minutes to complete so a nice and easy one there like I said, Ashmore Speed Trap, 3 stars, 140 mile an hour, simple. Now, for the last challenge here, it just wants you to earn 4 ultimate skill chains. So an ultimate skill chain is when you hit 20,000 skill points without them being multiplied and you'll get the ultimate skill chain. So to do this, I went over to the Greendale Airstrip because there's lots of things to smash into and whatnot. I'd also recommend picking up as many of the perks as you can because obviously a lot of them will give you better multipliers. So when I say multipliers, I mean if you smash an object and it's normally, I don't know, a thousand points for a landscaping skill, for example, with the multiplier on, you'll get 1,200 points for the landscaping skill, which obviously means you'll get to 20. 20,000 skill points very very quickly and easily like I said you need to hit 20,000 before they get multiplied so obviously you can see in white there the times 4.4 or whatever it may be that doesn't count as long as you hit 20,000 the number to the left of that multiplier before the final score gets multiplied you'll get the ultimate skill chain it's really really easy this one's a little bit more time consuming but like I said if you head over to the Greendale airstrip you'll very easily pick up skill points by smashing into things drifting doing jumps getting some speed skills here and there so it's a really really easy challenge it'll just take a bit longer than most 
Now, obviously, I understand that this Bugatti Veyron is 2.2 million credits, which is a bit of a ball ache if you don't have that sort of money. But like I said, keep checking out the auction house. Sometimes you'll be able to pick one up for fairly cheap, even under a million credits, if you get your timing right. It is a bit misfortunate, obviously, with season 23 and the new cars not fully being updated and coming out yet. But obviously, the guys at Turn 10 and Playground Games have said that there's some bugs. So we'd rather they cleaned up the bugs and sorted it all out before they released it because it could have some nasty consequences um, when it's actually put into the game and we're all playing it. So it's probably better this way in a sense. But like I said, if this festival playlist stays for the month, we won't be earning any sort of cars or anything. It's just credits for the festival playlist events. Anyway, if you do have any questions, please don't forget to put them down below in the comments. I answer all of them as best as I can. And if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this video, I very much appreciate if you could drop a like and subscribe. But apart from that, folks, I want to wish you all the best and make sure you take care.